Take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, just relax those eyelids. And with your eyes closed, notice that you can focus more of your attention on the sound of my voice. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in a feeling of resourcefulness. And exhaling any feelings of worry, stress or tension. Simply by breathing in. You're breathing in what you need. And exhaling what you don't. When you breathe in, breathe in deeper than you normally would. And when you exhale, just elongate the outward breath. Accepting the suggestion that the deeper you breathe, the deeper relaxed you become. That's in. Scan your body for any clues of tension. That might be muscles in your forehead like a furrowed brow. Tightness in the jaw. Even tension in your neck or your shoulders. So as you breathe in and breathe out, start to think that that tension is melting away. And feel that the tension is dissipating and leaving your body in that outward breath. As you breathe in, picture a bright, vibrant color that represents relaxation and resources. Maybe a bright yellow, bright orange. See the vivid brightness going in through your nose and filling your lungs. But as you exhale, see a darker color leaving your breath. Maybe gray, black or shadows. As you start to think that that might be released emotions. Maybe emotions from a long time ago. Anger, frustration, guilt or shame. Stress or anxiety or worries just allow it all to breath by breath feel like it's leaving your body. As your body relaxes, your mind awakens. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine being high up, perhaps on Malam Cove. Imagine it's a sunny day, bright blue skies, a gentle breeze. Breathe in the freshness of the air and feel a wonderful feeling of calm relaxation. Maybe you can see rolling hills, countryside, rivers or streams. And maybe there's a rock that you can sit on to just look out at nature. Feel a sense of peace, calm, as you continue to breathe in that bright, vibrant color of relaxation and continue to exhale whatever emotions you need to release. Consider it like a pressure valve and your outward breath is releasing any pent-up pressure, stress or tension. And it feels so good to just let that go. As you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to think about your relationship with alcohol. Remember a time where alcohol wasn't in your life. And remember seeing people acting reckless, aggressive, obnoxious, or perhaps vomiting and just get a sense that maybe your initial evaluations about alcohol were the true evaluations about alcohol. As you accept the belief that alcohol takes more than it gives. I want you to think maybe to a friend in the past that 
you were always there for them but they weren't there for you and perhaps that friendship where the friendship took more than it gave is no longer a friendship anymore and if you can change your relationship with people then you can change your relationship with alcohol and if your unconscious mind feels that there is a better relationship with alcohol in your future let me know by nodding your head But before we go down that rabbit hole, let's imagine a possible future with alcohol that is detrimental to your future. Imagine a timeline where each time you drink too much and black out, you're buying a lottery ticket to an undesirable future. More times you drink, the more likely you are to have those moments. And I want you to play scenarios in your mind's eye of what these lottery tickets could buy you, what these negative outcomes could be, the end of relationships, permanent loss of friendships, perhaps even risks to your physical health, Perhaps even the risk to your life. And as you explore those possible futures, I want you to realize that you can avoid all of those risks by acknowledging the belief that you don't want or need alcohol in your life. And whether you feel like that's true right now, If your unconscious mind believes that it's a useful thing to believe that you don't want or need alcohol, let me know by nodding your head. So I want you to imagine. Imagine what it would be like to play a game. Consider yourself a spy. A stealthy, secret, non-drinker. There are many alcoholics in the world that do the opposite. They play a game of pouring vodka into orange juice and seeing if they can drink without people realizing. And I wonder what you can do to play the opposite game. To play a game where you enjoy the same social activities, the same occasions, but as a non-drinker, someone who doesn't want or need alcohol. To enjoy connecting with people, having good conversations. Realizing sooner than you think that you don't need alcohol in your life. Most of the time, alcohol is Dumbo's feather. It's a placebo. The belief that you need alcohol to have fun or connect becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy until you fly without the feather and realize that you never needed it anyway. So I want you to imagine... Imagine playing a game where you don't drink alcohol because you don't want it and don't need it. But people don't realize that you've changed your relationship with alcohol. Feel a sense of cleverness and discretion growing within you. And imagine that you can navigate social situations with ease. Your decision not to drink, a silent badge of honor. Imagine engaging in a playful game where the challenge is to see how seamlessly you can blend into social settings without drinking, turning each occasion into an exciting mission. See yourself confidently choosing alcohol-free alternatives Each drink a unique choice that satisfies your taste and supports your stealthy mission. With every interaction, feel your confidence growing. Fully secure in your reasons for not drinking and communicating them with ease and assurance when necessary. Discover the pure joy of socializing without the need for alcohol. 
You don't see others that drink as boring or you feel bored. You've got a front row seat to a show of entertainment where you get to observe everything that happens firsthand. The conversations, laughter and connections end up being richer and more fulfilling. Over time, people's perceptions of you change. There is a level of respect and admiration for someone that can navigate life without the need for alcohol. And sooner or later, there may come a time when people realize that you don't drink. But up until then, you can wear your decision not to drink as invisible armor, protecting you from any need for external validation. Your inner strength, unwavering and clear. You can become adept at subtle evasion techniques, effortlessly changing the subject or humorously bypassing any focus on your drink keeping your secret intact. And maybe you can brainstorm a repertoire of quick-witted, non-confrontational responses. So if people inquire about your drinking, you're able to handle them with grace and humor. Anchor positive feelings and associations with your non-drinking status. Viewing each social outing as an opportunity to reinforce your commitment and resilience. And maybe you think of yourself as a social navigator, expertly moving through gatherings with your non-alcoholic drink, unnoticed and at ease in your role. Not drinking in these situations becomes a superpower as you embrace a state of mindful presence, fully enjoying each moment and interaction, your senses heightened and clear without the influence of alcohol. Each and every occasion without alcohol is a victory. And you can feel a quiet inner celebration with every successful outing. Acknowledging your strength and stealth in maintaining your non-drinking status. Giving you more and more evidence that you don't want or need alcohol. It gets easier and easier because you get more and more evidence. As you find harmony in your choice not to drink. Aligning with your values and lifestyle. Imagine you're leveling up in this game of life. As you develop a natural and respectful way to decline offers of alcohol, conveying your decision without the need for explanation or justification. This itself facilitates ever-growing confidence and evolving identity. Imagine yourself with the ability to stealthily camouflage your non-drinking, your glass of water or soda blending in perfectly with the surroundings. That non-alcoholic beer poured into a pint glass becomes indistinguishable from alcoholic beer to the external eyes. Feel empowered by your secret, knowing that this personal challenge enhances your self-control and joy in social settings. Stand firm in your resolve, unaffected by peer pressure or the actions of others. Your commitment to not drinking becomes a source of inner strength. Before long, you'll look forward to social events with joyful anticipation. 
excited about engaging in your stealth game, each outing a new adventure. So much so that with each passing day, you'll feel a growing sense of pride in your achievements, knowing that you are succeeding in your personal challenge, enjoying life fully and authentically without alcohol. I want you to imagine that any setbacks are just blips on this journey. There is no snakes and ladders here, no back to square one. Any blip on this journey is simply a reminder that change can sometimes take time. And the very next day it's back to this stealthy secret game of non-drinking. And if your unconscious mind is willing to support this game of evolutionary change, let me know by nodding your head. That's it, breathing in and breathing out. Feel yourself back there on Malam Cove, staring out at the countryside, but feeling that there's a game, a plan, a mission that you're excited to explore. And like any good plan, preparation helps. As you will feel an urge to plan and prepare to increase the odds of your mission being successful. As you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose, feel like you're returning to the present as you wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes, connecting fully in the here and now. As very soon I count from one to ten to awaken you, you will awaken feeling resourceful, with a sense of purpose and mission. That you're shifting from autopilot to manual control and steering your life exactly where you want it. Starting to count. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.